Okay. So here are your sign conventions for the spherical mirrors. Once again, it's coming from, if you get confused about this, think of it as being that the image distance is positive if it's a real image, it's negative if it's a virtual image, uh, when I'm thinking about one mirror or one lens, okay? When I have more than one mirror and one lens in combination, then that simple rule no longer works as well. But these rules will work always. So positive focal length for a concave mirror, negative focal length for a convex mirror, positive object distance if the object is in front of the mirror, negative object distance if the object is behind the mirror. And at this point you're thinking, when is the object ever behind the mirror? Well, that only happens if I have more than one mirror. So in this case, for example, for the lower mirror, I have the object placed there. When I place this mirror, that object is in front of the mirror, but the image forms infinitely far away behind this, okay? The object distance for the second mirror is also in front of it. So once again, the object distance for the second mirror is going to be positive, and the image distance will also be positive, and it's a real image in this case as well. Okay, but you could have situations where if I had two mirrors in combination, the image formed by the first forms behind the second mirror and serves as the object for the second mirror. In that case, when you did that, the object distance for the second mirror would be negative. Okay, we'll do such things for lenses in combination. We won't do it for mirrors in combination as much. Image distance is positive if the image is in front of the mirror. Once again, this is because light rays have a chance of converging in front of the mirror. And it's negative if the image is, this is wrong. This should read image, image. All right, so I'll, I should fix that. You have a positive magnification for an upright image, negative magnification for an inverted image.